fourth Sundays right here on Hi, I'm Lady T. Remember me? From the Morning Do Show. Now listen, I have a brand new show, The Lady T Show. It's going to be airing second and fourth Sundays right here on WIG TV at 6.30 p.m. Not just your ordinary talk show, but a talk show to help you find the ministry in life's issues. I'm excited and I know you are, so join me second and fourth Sundays right here on WIG TV at 6.30 p.m. Hi, welcome to the second episode of the Lady T Show. I'm Lady T and I'm glad that you could join me today for the very second episode. Those of you that missed the first episode, don't forget I'm on second and fourth Sundays, 6.30 right here on WIG TV, Southern Link Channel 17. I was so overjoyed and so happy. I got so many texts and phone calls and Facebook messages people asking me are you on tonight that was last Sunday and I told them no only second and fourth Sundays kinda want to do a pilot program just to test it out y'all know how I do so join me on second and fourth Sundays right here on WIG TV for the wonderful Lady T show now if you didn't catch the last show on second Sunday I had Elnora Chance here and she sat right here beside me she talked about divorced individuals and how to get through divorce. She did a wonderful job. I really enjoyed it. And not only her, but we had um, Glenda and Carnell. They graced us with their wonderful, beautiful voices. Glenda is a born singer. She was born to sing. Some people just have that talent. She has a very clear, pristine voice. I love her voice. I told her I was going to push her as far as she can go. And Carnell, he is gifted with musical composition. He's written several songs. He wrote a song for my group, the E&E &E Ministry. And we're going to get E&E &E here to sing for you soon. But we've got to make sure those wonderful songs that he has written are heard around the world. So I'm going to do what I can to make sure those songs are heard as well. Um, tonight, we have the return of the Morning Dew gas car. Now, those of you that don't know uh, that I had a radio show, I did have a radio show called The Morning Dew Show. And I used to do a $25 gas card giveaway each and every month. If I could give uh, more than one away, I would have. But I like to be a blessing. You're going to have an opportunity to win that $25 gas card tonight. Yes, yes, yes. All you have to do is be the 10th caller. And if you are the 10th caller, you will be the winner of that $25 gas card. Now, that will fill up my tank. I don't know about a lot of you with the big SUVs, but $25 definitely will fill up um, my tank. And guess what? Speaking of being a blessing, I have a sponsor. Yes, I do. Kanisha and Vince Morning from Robertsonville. They are my first sponsors, and I just want to give them a hand clap for sponsoring the Lady T Show and speaking back to them that God is going to bless them tenfold for sewing into the Lady T Show and just being a blessing. If you would like to be a sponsor, I want you to get in contact with me. That email address is ladyt1073 at ymail.com. That's L-A-D-Y-T-1073 at ymail.com. You can also call here to the station and um, they will give you the number, but we want you to take a, advantage of the platform that I have provided to the community. Tonight, what a wonderful, wonderful, exciting show tonight. My father, Mr. Ernest Dickens, is in the building, and he is going to give you his famous sweet potato pie recipe. He's going to reveal the secret. Yes, 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 he is. This is the, uh, the pie that at family dinners people are putting in their purses, under their shirts, and sneaking out the door with them. A delectable delicacy. You have got to taste these, these pies. Um, won't give you a chance to taste them tonight. This pie is all for me tonight, but he's going to reveal the secret. And I hope it's not his foot. Some people say I put my foot in it, you know. I really hope he did not put his foot in these pies. Cause, oh, I would lose my breakfast, lunch, and dinner from last year. No, don't tell him I said that. But anyway, he's here, and he's going to reveal his secret. I look nothing like him. Just want to warn you. I think I look more like my mother, but you'll see that. Don't, don't tell him I said that either. Um, not only Mr. Ernest Dickens, guess, guess what? The Powell sisters are here, three years old and five years old. Oh, my goodness. They are so adorable. They are adorable. They're going to sing for you tonight. They're going to sing, and I'm so excited for them. You can tell that they're already in the making of uh, wonderful songstresses. I hope that's the right word, songstresses. 
Uh, they're going to sing, and we want you to call in with your comments. We want you to call in to just let them know how good of a job that um, they're going to do, because I know they're going to do a good job, and we're happy for them. We're happy that they are here. We don't want you to go anywhere. Again, we've got that sweet potato pie recipe coming up. We have the Powell sisters coming up, Tron and Yvonne Powell. I know they're very proud of them. They're training them up the way they should go. And also, we've got that gas card. We want you to have an opportunity to win that gas card. So we'll be right back after this break. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Are you ready to fight? And anything the devil throw at me, I shall bounce back from it. Who is on the Lord's side? You got a bounce back anointing. This is not a test. This is an actual emergency. Apostle Emma Speaker Dickens and the Kingdom Empowerment Ministries Incorporated family invites you to become a part of Kingdom Empowerment today. Whether you're young, old, married, or single, rich, or poor, Kingdom Empowerment will bring out the ministry in you. Kingdom Empowerment is home to many ministries in-house to serve you, including GWAP, CWAP, Youth Alliance, Creative Dance Ministry, Covenant Marriage Ministry, C Singles Ministry, Anointed Music Ministry, Way of Life Motherhood, My Brother, Brothers Keeper, and many, many more. Apostle Emma Speaker Dickens invites you to experience not church as usual, but church unusual, where there is healing, deliverance, and an apostolic prophetic anointing like never before. Headquartered in Scotland Neck, North Carolina, Kingdom Empowerment Ministries has several locations in Eastern North Carolina to serve you. Call us today at 252-826-5029 or visit us on the web at kiminc.org. That's 252-826-5029 or visit us on the web at kiminc.org. This is not a test. This is an actual emergency. 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 Welcome back to the Lady T Show, and this is our second episode. We're so excited to have my father, Mr. Ernest Dickens, here. Hey, Daddy. Hello, How you Lady T. This is his setup for the sweet potato pie. Now, I told him I was going to get him because I see he got the little stuff here, but I thought he was going to actually mix it up and show the people how you mix up the, the pie. What happened? Well, we don't want to do, do, do Colonel Sanders do mm. give you all of his secrets. What, what we would like to do is to show the people all the ingredients okay. that go in my sweet potato pie. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, we know we got to mix them up. But okay. what we're going to do, we're going to show everybody all that we put in it. Okay. Except for the one secret ingredient. Hmm. We're going to do that at the end of the show. Secret. Okay. And, um, I will give everybody the secret. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and relinquish the secret to the public. Okay. All of you out there in TV land, you can tune in. At the end, we're going to give you that one secret. Okay. So what you got here? Well, what we have here, of course, we want to begin with uh, the sweet potato, or mm -hmm. some people like to call them yams. Okay. Um, I believe there is a difference between a yam and a sweet potato. Now, you picked this out of the field yourself, right? No. No, you did? No, I don't go in the field of sweet, <laughs> sweet potatoes. I, Unfortunately, I buy mine from the grocery store unless some of you that like to go in the field and pick them after the farmers, mm -hmm. turn them over and whatnot, and you want to bring me some in a nice big box, I'll, I'll accept that. <laughs> but uh, we usually, we, I usually take a sweet potato about okay. this size. Okay. Um, it could fit in the palm of your hand. All right, let's see if it fits in, in my hand. Okay, so that... That's not my palm, though. That's a it's got your whole hand here, of course. It fits in your palm, but it doesn't fit well, in Well, it, 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 it covers the fingers and okay, the hand. So, so we can say about the size of your hand. Okay. You don't want to go much larger than this. Mm -hmm. um, I've tried it through trial and error over the years. I've made my mistakes like any co good cook. Um, you don't want to try to use a potato that's so huge mm -hmm. that when you cook it, you got to cook it a long time. You got to keep right on cooking it right. just to get the heat to go all the way through. Right. Is that what causes the, like, strings? 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think there are, there are certain types of potatoes, uh, right. sweet potatoes, as far as a sweet potato and a yam. One may have more strings, strings than the other one. I don't like that string. I've tried the yams. The yams seem to be a little uh, oranger in color. Oh, okay. And they hmm. seem to have less it. strings. Okay. But, um, you know, I, I'm not sure. I'm not the farmers who plant them, so they, they, I'm pretty sure there's a well, reason. Well, there's still hope yet. Maybe we'll have a farm. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. But um, I like to take the sweet potato, leave it in the peeling. After I wash it, and depending on how many pies that I want to make, if I want to make just one pie, mm -hmm. then I will go with one sweet one potato sweet this potato. size. Okay. And this will usually get me what I need, uh, one this size. And then I always... For the whole pie? Yes, ma'am. Just Dep one? Depending on what you're going to put in it. Okay. So you got to wow. uh, add your flour. Okay. You got to add some flour to it. <laughs> and yeah, this is Piggly Wiggly brand flour. You, you, this has been used. Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I used this this past uh, weekend, of course. For, we, Thanksgiving. for Thanksgiving, we did cook some sweet potato pies. I think I made about six or seven of them. Yeah. And I have one at my house. And um, we did uh, make the sweet potato pies, of course, with this flour. Okay. Um, you you want to first cook the sweet potato, uh, uh, the, the sweet potato, the yam. Okay. You want to cook it, and I usually use a pot. Mm -hmm. I use a stew pot, and I put the uh, yam inside the pot, mm -hmm. and I cook it, and I keep the peeling on. Some people have told me that they take the peeling off of the sweet potato okay. before they boil it. Mm -hmm. I like to keep the peeling on. Now, my reason is because it keeps the moisture and the flavor on the inside, and it helps to retain the flavor of the potato. Okay. And because when you start putting water uh, against it in hot water, it's going to draw all most of your moisture out and it can draw the flavor out. Right. But you want to keep as much of the retain as much of the flavor as you can. Mm -hmm. So I leave the peeling on. After it's done, let them cool just a little. Right. Take all the peeling off. Uh -huh. And then I get me a mixing bowl about this size. Okay. And I put it in the mixing bowl. And what I do, I take me about one stick of margarine. Okay. And put it in there. Now, I think we're getting some phone calls. It's okay if, if they call in because we're not going to do the gas card calling until the end. So, there may be someone calling for uh, a tip or something like that. Um, now, for one, for one pie, you can use a half a stick of butter. I use butter. Okay. And if I'm, if I'm going to do two pies, then I would mm -hmm. go with the whole stick. Okay. But you can use a half a stick of butter. Okay. Or margarine if you prefer. I prefer the butter because it gives that extra flavor to it. Mm -hmm. And you, you melt the butter down. You okay. pour it in on the sweet potatoes. Okay. Take a potato masher. You mash it up. I need a potato masher. That's something that I don't have. Okay. Yeah. You got mine, I think, because mine is missing at <laughs> my house. Well, it's probably mine, not but yours. You, you mash the potato, the sweet potato up. Mm-hmm. And then you add your ingredients. Okay. You have your cinnamon. Okay. Cinnamon. cinnamon. You have vanilla flavoring. Vanilla. I like a lot of vanilla flavoring in mine. I also add, and I've been told by a lot of people who cook sweet potato pies, they don't put this in. Okay. But I add a little lemon flavoring in my sweet potato pie. Mm. Write that down, lemon flavor. And I also, I also add... Uh, carnation milk. I use carnation milk in it. Wow. And I pour it in full strength. Okay. I put the carnation milk in. Full strength, he said. You got to pour that in. Yeah, full in other words, this is type of milk you're supposed to add a little water, but I add the milk full strength. Straight. And As it straight. probably maybe about one cup for one pie. Uh, okay. And one I pour that in. Uh -huh. Then I add the one, about one cup of flour okay. in, and then I mix it all together. And that's going to give me my one flour, my one uh, pie because mm -hmm. batter for my one pie okay. because you are adding the flour. Okay. And then once you put an egg in, mm -hmm. and I will usually use one egg per pie. Okay. And I put that that egg in, what put the flour the in. The, this is the egg. <laughs> this is the egg. Okay. Yeah. This Inside is the, egg. the butter carton. Yeah. This is the egg. You really know how to do it, Daddy. Yeah. I'm just. You, I'm you just. You know how to do it. I'm, I'm, they, people are not only interested in, they're only interested in what we're going to use. It's a makeshift egg carton, that's what it is. Okay. But we use the egg, we have the carnation milk, mm -hmm. we have the cinnamon, Okay. we have the vanilla flavoring, Okay. we have the lemon flavoring, mm -hmm. and we have the flour mm -hmm. and the butter. Okay. We mix it all together, make sure all the ingredients, and one more thing we got to add. Can you tell me what that is? Because without that one thing, you really don't have the pie. You need the pie crust. And you need the sugar. 
You must have sugar in the sweet potato pie. Yeah, that brings the you sugar. You have to have sugar. <laughs> so one cup of sugar is usually enough okay. for that one pie. You don't want to go in overboard with it. Some people use more. Some people use less. I, I like to get that sweetness in there mm -hmm. so that all my flavoring and everything blends together. And then okay. the sugar, of course. I, don't, I want my pie to be sweet. Okay. I want it to be Sweet enough so somebody would know that I had a dessert. So is that the missing ingredient? No, it's not the missing ingredient. Okay. That's not the missing ingredient. I'll tell you about the missing ingredient later. Okay. But you put the sugar in, mm -hmm. and then you get it all mixed up together. Okay. Now, one thing that I want to uh, also emphasize is that there are different types of uh, pie shells. Mm -hmm. and when I first started cooking sweet potato pies, I used pet Ritz. Mm -hmm. My only problem is I had a problem with the crust around the edges. To me, it looked too plain. And I, I did all of my sweet potato pies with the Pet Ritz pie shells. Okay. One reason was because they were cheaper to get. All right. And I found out that a lot of people weren't paying attention to the pie mm -hmm. shell, but they wanted the ingredients and everything that was in the pie and what made up the pie. Okay. But I chose another type of pie shell. Okay. And I like the decorative edges around. Is that around. Great, great value? Mm, well, it, <laughs> that's, that's one brand. <laughs> But yeah, there are many other uh, brands, store brands that you can get that have the decorative shell. Mm -hmm. And if you go in uh, places like Harris Teeter and you mm -hmm. go in places like um, perhaps Walmart or some of these other places, you will find that when they sell their pies and like Food Line, when they fix their pies, mm -hmm. if you will notice, they don't use Pet Ritz pie shells. Okay. Well, what do they use? They use the other brands with the decorative shell around Ooh, the edges. Yes. It's nice yes. and pretty around the edge. And what brand is it? Well, it's different brands. Okay. Food Line has the their own. With the yeah, just the decorative. Food Line has their brand. Harris mm -hmm. Teeter has their brand. Okay. And each one, when they when they're when they're uh, in their delicatessen, when they mm -hmm. fix their baked goods, mm -hmm. they always emphasize the looks mm -hmm. as well as the taste. Okay. They're gonna they, they're gonna put you a pie out there that's got a nice little shell on the outside, okay. so that when you see it in the box, see it looks nice. So you pour it in. So the I decided to go with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you pour it in the shell. All right. And you put it in the shell. Uh huh. You stick it in the oven, you allow it to bake about 375 to 400 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then you turn your heat down to between 300 and 325 mm -hmm. and let it cook for another 45 minutes. I didn't know so that. I try to do at least one hour on my okay. pie. Right. And that way my shell gets nice and brown underneath. Mm -hmm. And you see in some pies when you slice it and you take it out, it looks like it's still Bushy. doughy and yeah. white yeah. looking on we the bottom. Want that. Well, I like for my shell to be nice and brown underneath, nice and brown on the edge without okay. burning it. I don't want my shell burned on the okay. outside. And then after it's done, mm -hmm. take it out, let it cool. Okay. And it's, it's, for my pies, it's better to wait until it cool because if you try to cut it too yeah. fast, yeah. it will crumble up. And but if you let it cool down some, uh -huh. get your nice slice out. And is that what this is under this foil here? This is a finished pie. And this is the way it looks when it's finished. Wow. Nice and evenly brown on the, on the crust. And you see the decorative crust around the edges. Mm -hmm. And Mike can get a little closer here and okay. show you just a little bit closer. That's nice and gold around here. And then you see, you see how the batter is cooked yes. and how evenly cooked it is. It it's not, delicious. there's no burnt spots no on burnt it. No burnt spots. Then you got the crust is a nice golden brown. Nice. Golden and that's brown. my decorative crust that I've got. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. But and this so was that. The, did you tell us the missing ingredient? Uh, you want to take your break and come back and talk about yeah, the missing ingredient? Yeah, he's got to tell us the missing ingredient. I, you know, I remember, Daddy, when you were cooking um, one one evening. But both my mom and, and dad used to cook, but he used to get home earlier, so he would cook for us. And you were in the kitchen praying while you had the the food going. You're like, Oh Lord Jesus, oh. And I saw the red Kool-Aid on the counter. I was the mischievous one. So I grabbed the pack of red Kool-Aid and I crunched, crouched down behind the counter and I opened it and, and poured it in my mouth. You remember that? Yes, <laughs> I, tried I, to eat the whole I, pack I remember of that, yeah. It is not sweet. Don't try it. It is so bitter. It is very bitter. And I'm like, all this red is pouring from my mouth. I'm like, Daddy! And he turned around and he just... Youngin, what have you done? <laughs> and then he started laughing when he realized that I wasn't hurt. It was just the red Kool-Aid. But don't try that. It so. did look like blood. <laughs> I, it, you scared me. It looked like blood coming oh out of goodness. your mouth. 
<laughs> it was so much pouring out. <laughs> so but in the interest of time, if uh -huh. you would like, I'll go ahead and tell the secret. Yes, let's tell the secret. Because we, we do we want to hear the singles and everything. Yes. All right, um, the secret ingredient that everybody's been waiting for, it's called your heart. A piece of your heart is all you got to do is put into your pie. Oh if you're going to try this, that's right. do it with a heart full of love. Thank you, Daddy. And the reason is because your family is important. Yes. Whenever you are preparing up your food for That's your Thanksgiving right. and Christmas, upcoming Christmas holidays, mm -hmm. you want to do it with love in your heart. Yes. And as you mix the batter, right. you want to do it and think about how much you That's love your right. family, how much you are willing to do for your family, mm -hmm. and even the sacrifice you make about putting the effort and the time into doing this yes. without going to the store and buy it. That's right. You are putting a lot of effort into it. Thank so you, So do Daddy. it with a heart full of love. I, I knew you were going to say something. At least you didn't say your foot. So, <laughs> we're going to take a break. We're going to be right back. Thank you, Mr. Ernest Dick, because I know we're going to get some phone calls on that. You got the secret ingredients. You got the ingredients here, and you got the pie that I'm going to take home with me. Let's take a break. to fight. And anything the devil throw at me, I shall bounce back from it. Who is on the Lord's side? You got a bounce back anointing. This is not a test. This is an actual emergency. Apostle Emma Speaker Dickens and the Kingdom Empowerment Ministries Incorporated family invites you to become a part of Kingdom Empowerment today. Whether you're young, old, married, or single, rich, or poor, Kingdom Empowerment will bring out the ministry in you. Kingdom Empowerment is home to many ministries in-house to serve you, including GWAP, CWAP, Youth Alliance, Creative Dance Ministry, Covenant Marriage Ministry, C Singles Ministry, Anointed Music Ministry, Way of Life Motherhood, My Brother, Brothers Keeper, and many, many more. Apostle Emma Speaker Dickens invites you to experience not church as usual, but church unusual, where there is healing, deliverance, and an apostolic prophetic anointing like never before. Headquartered in Scotland Neck, North Carolina, Kingdom Empowerment Ministries has several locations in Eastern North Carolina to serve you. Call us today at 252-826-5029 or visit us on the web at kiminc.org. That's 252-826-5029 or visit us on the web at kiminc.org. This is not a test. This is an actual emergency. 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 Welcome back to the second episode of The Lady T Show. I am here with Gabrielle and Ambrielle, and we call them Gabby and Amber. What's your, what's your dad's name? Yeah. Tron, and what's your mom's name? Yeah. Yvonne. And I know that they are proud of these girls, but they're going to sing for you tonight, and we're so proud of them as well. Don't they look beautiful? They are just beautiful. What are you going to sing? The safest place. They're going to sing the safest place, and they look beautiful. They're holding hands. That's right. We are a team, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, girls, I want you to take it away, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. the, the, the safest place in the whole wild world is in the will of God. Trials be great when the way seems hard is in the will of God. It may be on the mountain peak or in the prison wall, but wherever, wherever. Wherever, wherever it may be, we got. 
glasses. Go! 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 Ani, Dio, Ani, Di, Maria, Lord, Ani. This is Gabrielle and Ambrielle, and now we are ready for that gas car calling. We want you to call us. I, I'm not as short as they are, but we want you to call us uh, right now. Call the line, the number that you see on the screen. It should be on the screen, um, but give us a call. And the 10th caller, you will be the winner of that gas card. That was great. We'll be right back. We're going to take a quick break. That was great. And the violent take it by force. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Are you ready to fight? And anything the devil throw at me, I shall bounce back from it. Who is on the Lord's side? You got a bounce back anointing. This is not a test. This is an actual emergency. Apostle Emma Speaker Dickens and the Kingdom Empowerment Ministries Incorporated family invites you to become a part of Kingdom Empowerment today. Whether you're young, old, married, or single, rich, or poor, Kingdom Empowerment will bring out the ministry in you. Kingdom Empowerment is home to many ministries in-house to serve you, including GWAP, CWAP, Youth Alliance, Creative Dance Ministry, Covenant Marriage Ministry, C-Singles Ministry, Anointed Music Ministry, Way of Life Motherhood, My Brother, Brothers Keeper, and many, many more. Apostle Emma Speaker Dickens invites you to experience not church as usual, but church unusual, where there is healing, deliverance, and an apostolic prophetic anointing like never before. Headquartered in Scotland Egg, North Carolina, Kingdom Empowerment Ministries has several locations in eastern North Carolina to serve you. Call us today at 252-826-5029 or visit us on the web at kiminc.org. That's 252-826-5029 or visit us on the web at kiminc.org. This is not a test. This is an actual emergency. 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 All right, I think we're back. Are we on now? Are we on, Lee? Okay. Uh, that was kind of quick. We were trying to hurry and get back on to you because we got the phone ringing and we're trying to get the 10th caller here, trying to give away this $25 gas card and we're going to let you know who won. But we want to get you to join us second Sunday. We're going to have single ladies, single guys in here and they are fierce. They are fearless and they've got a word for you. That's going to be second Sunday. Uh, I want to send some morning due out to Kingdom Empowerment Ministries and Apostle Emma Speaker Dickens. And also we've got some other um, viewers as well. So we're going to get you on our list of morning due that we want to send out to you. But um, do we have a 10th caller yet? Do we have a 10th caller? We have a 10th caller? What's it? What's the, what's the name?
gold buying station's million dollar buying event. That's right. Our national trading partners have authorized us to spend one million dollars. If you have old gold, we buy it. Diamond jewelry, we buy it. Coins, that too. Antique jewelry, yeah, baby. Pocket watches, we buy it. Gold, we love broken gold. Whatever has value, we buy it all. We pay serious cash during the gold buying station's million dollar buying event. And remember, we, we buy, buy it all. It all.